hey, I have a lead. Can we get on the phone call together? Blah, blah, blah. And it's a headache. So my business needed structure. So what I decided to do was come up with a way for people to see the progress of their leads without me. As soon as the lead was, was sent in, regard, regardless of what the note said, how far they were in the conversation, I decided to have my team treated as a new lead. What's up, man? We back with another video. It's your boy, Daryl, here with the Dog Pound with another one at the documentary. Look, we just talked about how I learned how to make money without money, by just leveraging other people and, and providing value. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how I actually turned that into a business and made it extremely user-friendly for everybody who was involved. So I started getting a lot of buzz right in the, the community just people i started closing deals for people people started to, to know that i was a guy that, that closed deals right i started to, to brand myself as the guy who can close your deals all right so i was sharing audio recording showing how i helped other people and next thing i know i am flooded with people who want my help whether it's in my facebook messages um my text messages because i was just giving my phone number out um and i'm just like man I need to, to systemize this and make this way easier for everybody involved. Because if I'm overwhelmed, I know it's gonna be a bad experience for the person who's trying to get, trying to send me leads. And one thing that, that I learned is a JV model, JV type of business, joint venture, which is when we're, we're partnering with other people. I'm not spending money on leads. People are just bringing them to me. This is all about customer relationships. This is repeat and referral business. So I'm not spending money on marketing. I just need to say what I'm good at and I need to execute. And I need to make sure it's as easy as possible for everybody to, to see where everything's at. So the problem with having multiple JV partners is you have so many people hitting you up, asking you on progress on where their leads at. When's the last conversation you had? When are you gonna lock this up? Did you lock this up? What's the status of it? And I started going crazy. It, it just it just wasn't working for me. Like people were hitting me up. I had about a thousand unread messages in my phone and I just couldn't keep up with it. So I'm just thinking, I'm like, how do I make this? How do I pull myself out of this? And how do I make this in a way to where people can do this without me? So my business needed structure. So what I decided to do was come up with a way for people to see the progress of their leads without me. So I had an assistant at the time and what I had her do was create a spreadsheet. And well, the first thing I had her do was create a landing page. So no more people, if you need a lead close, no more reaching out directly to me. You go on my website, which is jvwithdaryl.com. You go on my website and you fill everything out, all the information that's necessary. That way I'm not there to, I don't, you don't need me there. Like a lot of people were saying, hey, I have a lead. Can we get on the phone call together? Blah, blah, blah. And it's a headache. All right, so this way you can submit it to me. Let me know everything that's going on. Everything I need to know is there. And when this get, when when it comes through, then I make the call. Right, I, I call the seller and I I close the deal from there because I have all the information I need. So that right away that that really took a lot off my plate because I didn't have to keep on meeting with people. And next thing I know, I'm getting leads overnight. I'm getting leads first thing in the morning. I'm, I'm getting leads just sent to me. And I'm like, dang, this is pretty cool. It's like, this is automated now, right? I, I don't really have to do too much. I just have to keep giving value, keep providing value to the community. And that's what I did. I just kept doing it. Next thing I know, I have a bunch of leads coming in. And um, so at this point, I have a few JV partners that are just sending random. Well, I, I have a lot of people sending random stuff and I have a few that are consistently sending me these. I even have a few people who are like, hey, I wanna shut my wholesale business down completely, but I've been generating leads over the past two or three years and I don't wanna throw them away. They've sent me 2,000, 3,000 leads that they've ever generated and we worked on those. We revived those dead leads. Like I, we've, we've done a lot with people's dead leads. And <clears throat> one of the issues with that is they're dead leads, right? They're not that motivated. So what I, what I had to learn, the next thing that I do to, to pull myself out of this and scale out of this was I needed to stop myself from speaking to people who weren't motivated, speaking to tire kickers, right? So I, I put a barrier from myself in between myself and that first call. So I, I brought on a, a lead manager to, as soon as the lead was, was sent in, regard, regardless of what the note said, how far they were in the conversation, I decided to have my team treated as a new lead, right? So they would send it in, 
my lead manager would be a virtual assistant in the Philippines overseas, would give them a call, reach out and take it through the sales process and figure out if this person is actually motivated in selling. If they're motivated in selling, if they have a reason to need to sell, then they would pass it on to me. I would start making the calls and start closing more deals and I, would, I was wasting less time dealing with tire kickers. So that was the next thing. But we still have the problem of people wanting to know updates on their leads and the status of their leads. And that was one thing that I was really having trouble with, with automating. Um, what I had done with my assistant was what we did was we, I had her create a spreadsheet that pretty much looked like our CRM. And she was able to go in there, update the notes, the last notes, when the last call was, when the next follow-up call is. And she shares that with the JV partner. So as soon as they send a lead, they get an email sent with a Google spreadsheet that has their leads and the status of their leads. So now all they have to do is check every other week because now she'll go in there, she'll update the leads, she'll uh, put the comments in the next call, and that way everybody sees it full transparency. You don't need to text me or call me and figure out what's going on now because you'll get an update whenever we, whenever we update it, whether it's a week or two weeks. Not only did it free up time on my end, but it made the user experience so much better, right? People enjoyed sending me leads and they continued to send me leads because their main problem was they, they had partnerships, they were sending people leads and they were getting, there was no communication. So when I told them, hey, this is what we do, we're all based about communication, they loved it. I even had the, I even had the, the contract, the JV contract on my landing page. So they can't, they can't proceed until they look at the terms and agree to the terms. So I was like full transparency and, and they really loved that. Ended up what happened was I had repeating customers, right? I don't like to call them customers. They were, they were partners, repeating partners who would constantly send me leads. And even till this day, I've had people who were sending me leads for over a year now because the communication is, is top of the line and it's full trans we have full transparency between everybody. I could have done the, the landing page on my own. I, I could have done a spreadsheet on my own. I could, I could have done all the, the stuff that I did to automate this business by myself, but it takes us back to, to one of the earlier lessons that I learned and what we talked about in, in an earlier video is I need to outsource. If I were to, if I were to do all of that, right? make that landing page, spend time to make the landing page, make, spend time to make the, the JV page, everything like that. Who's making calls? Who's closing deals? I'm already doing the dispo and the transaction coordinating, right? So I, I, need, to, I still need to start outsourcing and replacing myself in, in parts of the business that I don't want to do. So since so we're talking about providing value, provide value to somebody else. If you found value in this episode, comment a timestamp below. If it's at seven minutes, you found value seven minutes, comment seven minutes below. And so somebody else can click on it. It'll take them there and they can provide, they can get that same value that you got. Always like, subscribe, hit that bell if you haven't. We'll be back with another video tomorrow. I'm in a whip, wow. so I got a zoom. They trying to talk, they not in a room. I've been so real, I'm dead to the tomb. They in the way, they got to move. I got a gas to